So that stuff we saw on camera back there in the kitchen, that haunts me. It haunts me. You want to go back and take a look? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let me know if you see anything there. All right. This will be the moment of truth. Hello. All this is ending up in the drinks. You can see there's some sort of sediment floating in there. Dust. Dust everywhere. I'm pulling hair out of here. That's disgusting. Can I have that bottle? Brandon, James, can I meet you guys in the kitchen for a second? Yes, sir. I slept at the bar because I was a little too drunk to drive last night. This happened, you know, a few couple times. A few times. Hey, Nick. Hey, John. Definitely got an insect problem in here for sure. Those are cockroaches. See, there's one running around there. Load it with bugs. There's a bunch of dead ones in here. Oh my god. I know you're not doing food out of here, but you guys are serving cocktails. You're storing your fruit in here. We just need a huge clean down. Tonight, I'm gonna have this building fumigated. This stuff needs to piss you off. I feel, feel real bad about it. This is supposed to be a bottle service area that you have all behind here. You guys gotta come around and see that. This is what people see before they even walk in. There are over 200 people walking by this place hourly, and they see this dirty place. Why would they go in? Look at this. Look at the filth coming out. Look at the dust up there. <laughs> Birds coming Look at this, guys. Uh -oh. That could have been cockroach feces <laughs> blowing around in this room. Nasty. Have you guys ever told to clean this stuff? We have a list every night of things that are supposed right. to be done. The problem is, your manager's drunk on a couch. And I'll show you the video. When was that? Last night. I said he'd be on couch. Let's go Are you gonna sleep here tonight? Yeah. All in. This No, no. All in. Whatever. I can't deal. That's embarrassing. Does that go on every night? No. No, it doesn't go on every night. Does it go on a lot of nights? More often than not. More often than not. He's lying to you. I'd call you a douchebag. But that's offensive to every douchebag I've ever met. You know all about my personal life. I got personal issues, but I shouldn't be bringing them to work. How old are you? 40. 40 years old. Be a man. Stop blaming your life, your hardships. That's the problem. That's playing your friendship. When John pulled up the video, I was embarrassed. I looked like an idiot. I got Tafford for sure. <laughs> it's a quality testing. It's office meeting. What are they celebrating right now? First hour of the shift down. Y'all good? Y'all need anything else? <laughs> Look at that. The only one even working is Brandon. Why are you still doing the things you're doing at 26? They're stuck in college. That's a frat house. Can I get an Oasis water? Look at that bar, Joe. It's disgusting. Look at garbage next to the customers. It looks That's horrible. She just poured the drink out of that bottle. I had a huge issue with containers like this because I don't know how long it's been sitting there for. If they've even cleaned the container this week. And it's the bottom of the container. That thing could be weeks old, bro. Oh, there's no telling what could be growing in there. He knows they haven't used a hookah before, right? This is an embarrassment to hookah lounges anywhere. A hookah pipe works by drawing air across heated charcoal through a bowl containing a sweet tobacco mixture called shisha. The shisha vaporizes and is drawn through the cold water basin, both filtering and cooling the smoke. Like, look how dirty this looks. This looks like a sweatband. There's no way I would want to take a puff from one of those hoses. I'm going to head to the bathroom. Oh. oh, gross. She, she, she didn't go. go. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> it's that gross. Will you please help me finish this? <laughs> I don't really want to drink. Yeah. She hates her drinks. See that? That is disgusting. They hate their drinks. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Oh! Stop it! Oh, <laughs> Come on! That drink was so bad, I had to just go into the bathroom and throw up. And the toilet doesn't flush, so it's just sitting there. We got a bar that's so freaking disgusting. People are puking all over the damn place! All right. <laughs> Down the middle. And they're sitting in the office playing games! Right, right. I want to go in, Joe, hard. They're not going to clean up the 
We are. Right. Let's do well, it. How you doing? Why don't you get rid of that? Pretty good, yeah. Man, I want you to burn somebody. Yes, sir. I sent a couple of spies in here. You know the guy went in the bathroom and puked? Really? Yes, the puke is still in the freaking toilet because the toilet wouldn't flush. Really? His girlfriend went to the bathroom before he puked and wouldn't even go to the bathroom. Your bathroom is such a hole that a girl can't even go to the bathroom in it? Yeah, the bath. Uh, yeah, the bathrooms are a work in progress. And you sit in your office smoking your hookah, playing games? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on management. I tell him all the time, the bathrooms are gross. Jesse just sits in the back having office meetings, and I'm by myself out here. Let's look at what a hole you're bar is. Say hello to Joe Brook, one of the best bartenders in the country. You don't want to touch my hands right now. This place is so disgusting. I need my freaking gloves. Look at this. Look at this sink. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. This is the most disgusting bar I have ever seen. What about the sticking sound when my feet walk across the floor? Have you noticed that? This place is freaking disgusting. This is used for drinking water only. What happens when you put alcohol and citric acids in this kind of a plastic? It absorbs it, and you get people sick. Now, the drink that he had was the drink you poured that came out of the bottom of this, didn't it? Citric acids break down plastic polymers, causing harmful toxins to leach, contaminating the beverage and degrading the container. How long has it been sitting in this? You don't know, do you? This is your life? This is your freaking future? And you got a child who's counting on you. You blew it. Say what you want to me as a business owner. Do not mention my child. Stay the out of my personal. Let's go see the hookah area. I'm sure that's no better. I'd like you to meet my friend John, the number one hookah expert in the world. This place is a dump. I mean, look how rusty that is. I mean, look at all this. All of this stuff is wet here from grime and grease. And this is just residue from hookah shisha tobacco. Here's what bothers me. When there's moisture left in these, bacteria grows. And then I go to smoke out of it, and what happens? People get sick. That's why I'm pissed. Now I gotta ask you the question, what stinks in this place? Because it isn't tobacco. A couple of days ago, we found a rat. Uh, we put down rat poison. It ate the rat poison, and we're guessing it died. We have no idea where it's at. We have no idea where it's at. You smell it? Because I do. There is a stench in this bar that smells like death. It's awful. And as I walk to the back, it gets worse and worse and worse. You smell it? I wouldn't put that in your mouth if I were you. We don't know if it's in the wall or in the air ducts. Uh oh <laughs> How long did it take me to find it? A couple of minutes. How long have you been looking for it? About two or three days. And you didn't even move a freaking couch? You can smell it over here. That's your freaking future right there, man. I see it. And you're the manager of this place? Get a rag and pick this thing up now. Gotcha. This one is killing us. Ah, the blood on the floor. You don't deserve to be in business. Shut this place down. Guys, please get out of here. Give them their money back now. I'm out of here, man. Here we go, Vic. Look at this oil. That looks like 90 weight oil from an engine. If I put a flash bulb on the other side of this, you wouldn't see it. Here. What's in here that prevents it from penetrating? Soot, debris. This is disgusting. When was the last time this was scrubbed and cleaned? Do you understand the fire hazard that this is? And look at this. I mean, I got grease. On the Ansel system, on the protective system to protect you in case there is a fire. Because there's grease everywhere. Do you see that? Yeah. That's a cockroach eating a grasshopper in a light bulb. I don't know how much worse it can get. Oh, there's the famous oh, chicken wings. Oh, man. Look at the blood that should be in a perforated pan where the blood is dripping out. This itself can contaminate the chicken. You might as well just get a gun and go boom to somebody. This is what you do for a living. If you have any pride left, is if you clean the place. Well, let's take a peek in the walk-in, and we'll see exactly what's happening here. What's all over that beer case? Blood. Look at the blood. It's dripping down all over your cases of beer. This is one of the most cross-contaminated kitchens I have ever seen. Clearly, we've got some really bad lines here. You can see the color difference. This is filthy. It's going to taste horrible. I want to go see the rest of the bar. He's got fruit flies everywhere. Yeah. If you don't clean every day, 
gestation period on a fruit fly is 24 hours. We clean magically. We don't get nothing. From no, I'm sorry, you don't. What's going on here? Jesus, please don't tell me you guys are bartending with standing water behind the bar. Look at the dirt in that water. Do you guys give a Look at this! There's beer tops sitting down there, napkins sitting down there, paper. You don't clean. This isn't clean. And don't lie to me again and tell me you clean this bar. You know when you're gonna clean it? No! Let's go. So Jeremy, who owns this bar, borrowed $300,000 from his grandfather. When he bought the bar, we put it in his mother's name. She signed for everything. His grandfather's retirement is on the line. Now his mother's house and everything is on a hook for the credit, the liability, the taxes, and everything. So where is he? He's not here. He won't come in this building alone. What? He won't come here. There's something about that bar that you and I have never dealt with before. The staff absolutely believes it. That bar is haunted. Really? Now, I'm not sure I believe it or not, but I want you to see how serious this is to them. Let's see. So there's Jeremy. This is a basically frequency as it the cycles through. There's a part in between that's called white noise, and that's where spirits communicate with you. We've heard some. We've heard some stuff through here. How many people are in this bar right now? Spirits. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was doing this. So I understand Jeremy bought this bar like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Where is he? I don't know. Not here. Is he normally here? No. Why? Basically, there's just some weird going on. Was the business doing better when Jeremy was more engaged in it? I think so. We don't like so to talk about it in South Bar because the more we talk about it, the more stuff happens. Lena. Lena? Lena? Yes. Come here. Are you scared to be here at night by Absolutely. yourself? Absolutely. Scared to death. Sit here. Oh, Jeremy, you're here. John. Nice to meet you. I want to understand this. You bought this bar when? February of 2012. Okay. When you bought the bar, was it making money? Yes. Now, you making money? No. What's wrong in this bar? It's, the bar's, the bar's haunted. So you believe that you're failing here because of a ghost? Because I'm not here. It's just so what do you think it's going to do to you? Does it have a gun? Does it have a knife? If this bar closes, your grandfather's out $300,000. What do you want me to do? You have the ultimate excuse, the greatest excuse of all time. It's not my fault. It's the ghost. My grandfather's going to lose 300000 not because of me, because of the ghost. I'm scared. What do you want me to do? Everything is about you, not the ghost. What do you do about it? I, what do you do? I, I don't know what to do. You know what ghosts don't like? What? Crowds. Fill your bar and the ghost will go away. When an owner is scared to come into his own business to protect his family's fortune, he's got no courage. Find your balls, buddy. Find your balls. Jeremy's got to fight for his business, not be scared of some freaking ghost. So, you know, let's just talk about the ghosts for a moment, the haunting. Have you experienced that before? Absolutely. I used to close and stack chairs on this table here, and all four chairs, all at once, would get swiped off the table. I heard an audible growl in my ear as I walked out, and I gave up my one solo close so I could move into shifts where I would just know I would be here with other people. Jeremy, I look at the muscles on your face tighten up, and I look in your eyes. You're terrified to even talk about this. Um, but I just wanted to just go away. I mean, I really don't know what to do at this point. It's almost like I know something's gonna happen pretty soon. I'm, I'm terrified. 
I mean, do people not come here because they think the bar is haunted? No. If you've owned this business for three years and he hasn't hurt the business, maybe he doesn't want to hurt you. What if it was failure that he was scared of and not a ghost at all? And you can blame the ghost all day. It's you. The alternative of not moving forward is unacceptable. Correct. It'll affect the way you feel about yourself the rest of your life. I don't have control of my business. And I know that if I was here, I could definitely help that. Paul, was the business doing better when Jeremy was more engaged in it? Oh, absolutely. Well, he's a great face for the business. Right. But when he's not here, he, he, he can't do it. You're not dealing with this. That's the issue. So you come to grips with it in some way. I have a family to feed. I don't have a choice. Bingo! Why don't you say that? I have my grandfather's money on the line. I have my mother's house on the line. I can't do this. That's the difference between her attitude and yours. You're not fighting for it, man. You gave up. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. All right, dear, what are we having? Can I get the peppertini martini? Did she say peppertini martini? Is that what's in the decanter? Gross. Arriba. Andale, andale, ole, ole. <laughs> so look at Tony behind the bar, but he's not making drinks, is he? Like he's drinking drinks. Mike, what would you be doing if you were losing 15,000 a month? Definitely not drinking while I'm trying to fix the operation, that's for sure. So look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> Must have been those shots again. And Tony has really put his own choices ahead of the best interests of his own family. Here we are. Thank you. They got their drinks. Ooh. That's not good. That's really bad. So they can't make a signature cocktail. This is not shocking information. How are you doing? Hi. They're seated next to all of the empty glassware that Tony brought back to the bar. Can you clear that for a second? I don't want to get dirty. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right, I'm buying your shot. Is Tony going to take another like shot that. now? He's in debt 250000 and giving away drinks. Wow. I will have an order of uh, wings, I guess. Do you want runny wings? Runny wings? I never heard that. Do you want runny wings? Fine. Surprise me. That's gross. My god. Yeah. So she just dropped a glass into the ice bin and walked away. With the broken glass in the ice bin. The girl, no, 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 no. The girl broke, bro, the, she broke a glass oh, and, she uh, and she didn't pick it up. So if Ami didn't see the glass in that bin, mm -hmm. he would have been serving a drink with glass in it. Guys, we have a ball window. I don't know where all this food is going. It's only been up there 30, 40 minutes. Is anything happening with the menu yet? Nobody's getting food. You guys love serving my food cold, huh? It's been how long? At least 30 minutes. Have you ever been in a restaurant where a stranger came up and asked you where a server was? So there's our server. That's not even the right ticket, but whatever. Tattoo girl, you put my order through, right? I think she's ignoring me. And what's Tony doing? Oh, look at that. Is he entertaining? All right, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I may have had just one too many tequilas. And the drinks that I overpoured, I had to drink them. <laughs> Anybody in here Irish? Uh, oh, daddy boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. This is his passion. Now, facilitating his own ego is more important to him. Taking care of them. Yeah. I have nachos, wings. Did you see the wings, though? They're see. Remy. Order up. Look at those chicken wings. Is that a freaking pencil holder from elementary school? That's what it looks it like. It's plastic for sure. But that's not even a food service container, is it? No. No. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Uh, Riley. What? New one. What's wrong? <gasps> there is a hair in the wing. <laughs> shoot myself in the face. So there's a silver hair oh, on God. his food. Oh, I wonder where that came from. Coming back when summer's in the meadow. So here's a guy who likes to drink because he's the life of the party. 
pumps his ego. He likes to buy everybody drinks, Mike, because it pumps his ego. Look at how well-dressed he is because it pumps his ego. Look at how he's just focused on being a man on stage because of his ego. ego. And white with snow. Yes, I'll be here. What happened? Come on down, Tony. Show's over, Tony. Get down here. Yeah. Uh, what about that grill? Well, that's the darkest grill I've seen to date. Uh, like, it's never been clean since the day they got it. Got me in trouble with Crystal. <laughs> she didn't blame me for you yelling at her. I was like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> What, Dad? You can literally see some flies flying around. There are flies there. There absolutely are flies there. I mean, fruit flies are the bar's enemy, and it is a constant battle, but that's something you have to be diligent about every single day. And that's right in front of the guest. So the bar is disgusting with fruit flies. Vic, look at those plastic containers. Look at that. Oh, he got crust. All what does that have? Buffalo containers? sauce or something? Oh. That's disgusting. Look at that cockroach. You see that? Walking right across the counter there. In the kitchen. So we have a fly-infested bar, yes. and we have a cockroach-infested kitchen. As business as usual, right through it. Ugh. We got to go in there. You got to go in the kitchen and see where these cockroaches are, what's going on. I'm going to hit the bar. Nick, stay here and watch everything on the monitors in case we miss anything. I'll follow you, John. I'll and follow I'm not going to let Let's anybody go. eat in this place. I'm like a little sort of freaked out here for a second because we saw cockroaches walk by in the kitchen. Hello. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing good. How are you doing? It could be better. Do we have fruit flies back here? Something is very wrong here. Cockroaches walking right by the counters where those wings were made, guys. Literally inches away from your chicken wings. You put that down, didn't you? You want to eat it now? But she had no problem selling it to you. Do you know there's cockroaches in your kitchen? Yes. You know that, right? Is there a chance that they're in their food? Is that possible? I would hope not, but it's possible. So she sold you food knowing that it's possible there's cockroaches in there. I can't believe this conversation. And I haven't even gone in the kitchen yet. Ma'am, I don't mean to come in and intrude on you. No disrespect, but it's my job to protect those people out yes, there. Yes, sir. Tammy, what is this? Look at the top of that. Moldy cheese. How long have you been here? I've been manager a year. A year? Has anybody ever taught you how to manage a place? No. What did you do before this? I was in education. How did you wind up being here as a, at, at running a bar? I started bar back in. And you because... went from bar back to manager? <laughs> what was one of the things that a bar back does? Clean, right? Right. So when you became a manager, did the cleaning stop? No. Is this the way your house looks? Look at this freaking thing. Look at this, man! Look at this! Look at this place! There is junk food! How do you have the audacity to serve somebody here? Answer me! I don't, I don't know. I don't. Does it ever bother you? It bothers me every day. Did you ever walk in the kitchen and say, oh my God, there's cockroaches? Every day. What did you do about it? That's beyond my control. That's Whose control is that? The owner's. So the owner says, you know what? Don't clean it. Don't fumigate it. Serve the food with cockroaches? No, they're just never here. They don't care. So they don't care. So then you don't care? I do, but I'm, I only have control of so much. So yeah, it's my fault. Let's go in the kitchen. What's going on, Vic? Bingo. That's Why isn't it dated? I'm not the kitchen manager, but I guess I should. You're the general it. manager. Why isn't it dated? Are you ignorant or lazy? Which is it? I guess ignorant, I don't know. Why don't you care enough to serve somebody something that won't kill them? Because I'm not the one that's in here running. I'm not the kitchen manager. They put me in front of the bar, and I'm Excuse running the bar. The kitchen manager did not show up. So I the, don't the have kitchen to... manager didn't show up, so you don't look in any of the refrigerators. You I, don't check anything for cleanliness. I should now, because, but that's what his job is to do. John, 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 this right here 
says the whole story, okay? Oh my God. We got movement. We got movement. Live infestation in here. How dare you put food out and not say anything? How dare you serve food with cockroaches walking around? Should you be running this place? You're gonna kill somebody! What's wrong with it? Well, look around. Cleanliness is not at the top of their list here. You can see some filth back there. Look at it. And you can see there's just a whole bunch of junk thrown on shelves. A um, used mask. Yeah, a used mask. <laughs> Next to dinner plates. Right. So why isn't LD, if she's the greatest manager that Dave wanted to run this place, why isn't LD looking at these? Oh my gosh, what is that container on the grill? Oh, what the hell you is see that? see that? Oh my gosh. I mean, that is filth and bacteria all the way around that. That's where they're holding the butter. Look at the, the little uh, oh, press there. The, the bacon press. And they used that on that chicken breast. That's right. probably what made it so dark is the filth on the bacon press. Imagine the roaches come at night or whatever, oh, and yeah. eat off of that, and then you put it on food. You know what, Anthony? Here's what I think. I think you and I should go in and do recon, the two of us. Let's go in, let's go order the menu, let's order a bunch of drinks. I want to see you go in the kitchen and see what they're doing. Let's see why they're failing, because LD obviously doesn't see it. So let's make them see it tonight. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here, chef. So we got a... The menu is all over the place. They have pasta, they have burgers, they have sandwiches. Some napkins for you guys. And those all right, a question right for you. What's your name? I'm Tanner. Tanner. So what? Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Uh, my favorite thing on the menu is going to be uh, the Big Dipper or the Blue Cheese Bacon Burger. OK. And we'll get uh, one of those. We're going to order a bunch of stuff, OK? OK. We'll try the uh, chicken fried steak, eight ounce hamburger steak. Hamburger steak. We'll try the ribeye. Let's do uh, some chili. Do a bowl of chili as well. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. So that stuff we saw on camera back there in the kitchen, that haunts me. It haunts me. You want to go back and take a look? Yes. OK, go ahead. Let me know if you see anything there. All right. This will be the moment of truth. Hello. Hello. I'm with John. John sent me back here. This right here, this is scary. Mm -hmm. This attracts rodents. Okay. They'll come and feed on this. See all this stuff right here? That is what is going to attract pests. This concerns me. We just ordered a bunch of food, but what the f is that? We you have see? a regular that comes in, and that's where we put all of our leftover stuff for the night for his chickens. This place is freaking filthy. I mean, I understand you guys are, are trying and everybody's trying, but this is something that's very, very important in running a kitchen, is learning how to handle food, the environment, and keeping things clean and keeping people safe. You're walking back here? Yep. See, the thing is, all this stuff on the ground, that's telling me, you know, look at all that. Holy there's rats. There's rat droppings. Oh my God, it's completely everywhere. All through here. This is gonna get someone sick. That is what happens when you don't clean. I'm gonna have to get John on this one. That is disgusting. So when I walked in here, I saw the cheese really close. And then I moved it, and there's rat droppings. Oh. There's rat fur and hair. I can see it. It looks right like there might even be a carcass down there. Might be a carcass? Rat shit. Look at that. We can't eat any of this food. No, these are all rat droppings. I gotta get Dave in here. Were you guys aware of the rat droppings in the walk-in? No. no, sir. No, can I show you this? I would stop the food because I'm not going to eat anything that I ordered here. Are you LD? I am. So you're responsible for this place, yes, right? Sir. Look at this floor. All of this is rat droppings, all mixed in there. I'm concerned that that actually might be a rat carcass. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. This place is completely infested. Did you know this was here? No, sir. David, so you've invested how much here? Well, I bought it for 450 and invested probably 75 on top of that. So you're in here five and a quarter. Right. And look at that. That's right. your investment. How does that make you feel? Not good. If we can't get this place to be reasonably clean and function better, right. then I don't know how I get your money back. Right. So we got a major issue here. Do you agree? I agree. OK, let's get out of here. OK. You're telling me that walking by this, you didn't see it. Did you never notice it? You noticed it, right? Of course. Did you do anything about it? I'm the only one that cleans it, sir. But you're a manager. Mm -hmm. People are supposed to clean. You're supposed to be managing. Look at this, Dave. 
She walks by it a hundred freaking times and you don't do anything. And he's out $525,000. How do you tell me you care when you walk by that? You might think you care, but you don't act like you care. Who's gonna clean this place tonight? Because if it isn't clean tomorrow, I'm going home. And I want you to do it with other people, not yourself. Right, Dave? Sure. If she can't straighten this out, kiss your money goodbye. Right. This is not a mistake. This is a choice. And you chose to stick it to him and his money. See you tomorrow. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.